Today on The Joy of Music, we are going to feature hymns and sacred songs which speak of God's love. The grandson of the famous evangelist Jonathan Edwards, Timothy Dwight was chaplain of the American forces under George Washington. Successful farmer, state representative, and president of Yale, he wrote the hymn, I Love Thy Kingdom, Lord. It was written at the time of the Pilgrim Fathers and was one of the few hymns of that era which continues to be sung today. I love thy kingdom, Lord, the house of thine abode, the church our blessed Redeemer saved with his own precious blood. I love thy church, O God, her walls before thee stand, dear as the apple of thine eye, and graven on thy hand. Love Divine, All Loves Excelling is a hymn written by Charles Wesley. It lays out in beautiful lyrics the miraculous way that God's love can transform a life. Love Divine, All Loves Excelling, Joy of Earth, to Heaven come down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling, all thy faithful mercies crown. Jesus, thou art all compassion, Pure, unbounded love thou art. Visit us with thy salvation. Enter every trembling heart. Among the many military and national heroes buried here at the West Point Cemetery, there are the graves of two special ladies, Susan and Anna Warner, who owned and gave Constitution Island to the Academy. 
Susan was a novelist and writer, and Anna, who loved the Bible, used to row across the Hudson River to teach the cadet Sunday school class. But it was Anna who wrote the very famous yet simple hymn, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know, For the Bible Tells Me So, Little Ones to Him Belong, They Are Weak, But He Is Strong. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because tis true. It satisfies my longing as nothing else will do. These words by Catherine Hankey, born to a wealthy English banking family in 1834, echo her life's work organizing and teaching Sunday schools for both rich and poor throughout London. During recovery from a life-threatening illness, she wrote these words, I'd love to tell the story, tis pleasant to repeat, what seems each time I tell it more wonderfully sweet. I love to tell the story for some have never heard, the message of God's salvation from God's own holy word.
favorite hymn that calls for the sound of a great amen is My Jesus, I Love Thee. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee, all the follies of sin, I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art thou. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now.
in our program featuring hymns and sacred songs about God's love, we experience the words of Anne Can It Be, written by Charles Wesley in 1738. It explores the mystery and majesty of God's redeeming love and the freedom we find through his sacrifice. Consider the words of the fourth verse. Long my imprisoned spirit lay, fast bound in sin and nature's night. Thine eye diffused a quickening ray. I woke, the dungeon flamed with light. My chains fell off, my heart was free. I rose, went forth, and followed thee. Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, shouldst die for me? Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program featuring hymns and sacred songs which speak about the love of God. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.
Diane Bish and the Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible. <laughs>